संत मिलो मेरे पाई मिल हर हर कथा करो हर हर नाम बहुत है कल जुग खेवट गुर शब्द तरो सतगुर आयो शरण तुहारी मिले सुख नाम हर शोभा चिंता लाहे हमारी अवर न सूजे दूजी ठाहर हार प्रयो तो द्वारी लेखा छोड़ अलेखे छूटे हम निर्गुण ले हो उबारी सदबक्संद सदा मेहरबाना सबना दे आधारी नानक दास संत पाछे परयो राख ले हो एहो बारी राख ले हो एहो बारी सारे ने कहा कि बोलना जी वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहगुरु जी की फतेह थैंक्स सो मच श्री ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी डाउन हियर यू कैन सी दिस बिग साइन हियर कि जिस आस्क बिफोर आई स्टार्ट हैन पीपल हैव हर्ड द यूट्यूब चैनल बेसिक्स ऑफ सिखी ऑल राइट वी गेट इन देयर कुमार जी कृपा बी गोइंग फॉर अबाउट ईयर एंड अ हाफ सो टू गेट आउट देयर सो पुट यू पुट योर हैंड्स ऑन अम यू सो मी वे Okay, talking to people on the streets, yeah, on the on the Sikh channel. Yeah, so we some do something called street prachar. Um, there's a leaflet at the front. You can take one about the channel, and those leaflets you saw on the street prachar, if you've seen it, they're at the front as well. So you're welcome to come and get some of those later on. I've been asked to talk about the jyot, the light. Now, how many kids here have heard Kirtan Soila? Adults, how many adults have heard Kirtan Soila? Okay, there's a beautiful line in Kirtan Soila. Okay, we're going to say it together now, all of us, right? Now we see it's like singing, don't we? Yeah, don't we? Yeah. The Gurdwara. So Mara says, "Avo six hakur ke pyareyo, gaavo sachi bani." Yeah, bani is not something just for me to read out to you. Bani is for all of us to sing together. So this is not going to be some kind of like I'm singing to you. Let's sing together. This is Guru Sahib's words to us. Yeah, and it's from Rag Tanasri by Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. We talk about Arti. They say. सब मह जोत जोत है सोए दोबारा सब मह जोत जोत है सोए तिस दे चानन सब मह चानन होए गुर साखी जोत पर गट होए जो तिस पाव सोवारती होए अगेन सब मह जोत जोत है सोए तिसके चानन सब मह चानन होए गुर साखी जोत पर गट होए जो तिस पाव सोवारती होए द रीजन आई फोकस ऑन दोस लाइंस बिकॉज़ इट्स गॉट दिस ब्यूटीफुल थिंग मारे जस्ट सेइंग एवरीबॉडी हैज अ जोत इनसाइड देम every single person here and every single person out there okay whether they're white black chinese they've all got the light of god inside them yeah so at the fundamental level maharaj is saying we all have the light of god inside us it doesn't matter if you're amritari or you're not amritari every single person here has the same light of the one and who is that light sab mein hai jyot everybody is like jyot hai soy what do you think soy means think of soy as a finger pointing up to god jyot hai soy wahguru now obviously wahguru is not up there cuz up there is a space is a vacuum scientists have gone out this god is not up there so jyot hai soy is inside isn't he the light of god is inside us right and now mara says next gur sa ki jyot par gat hoy but the guru's teachings sa ki is like a like if i tell you a story about our guru or i tell you what guru sahib said yeah what we're doing now is the same thing we're talking about guru di sakhiya we're talking about our guru mara says that light inside us can become pargat what pargat means what was hidden 
right, becomes visible. Let's all close our eyes for a second. Okay. Now I want you to look up, but keep your eyes closed. Ready? We're looking up, but eyes are closed. Okay. Now we, most of us are going to see darkness. Now if we're looking up inside ourselves, we're looking back, aren't we? But if God's light is there, it should be pargat. If it's not pargat, that means that the jyot is hidden. But it's there, isn't it? Maharaj saying, Sab meh jyot, jyot hai soi. God's inside us, but it's hidden. So Guru's teachings makes that light pargat. This is Sikhi, guys. That's it. Sikhi is all about every single one of us being able to connect to God inside us. Okay? Now when we look up, when I said look up, where are we looking up specifically? Just think about your eyes in relation to the top of your head. Right? You're looking up. Looking up here, aren't we? From here, if you're going to look up, you're going to look up, there, up this way. Fair enough? Scientifically, it's true, isn't it? We're not looking back that way. We're looking up. What's up here? Maharaj tells us that there's something up there called Dasam Dwar. How many hands, hands up if you've heard of this thing called Dasam Dwar? Yeah, if you even heard about it, like, have you heard about YouTube? Yes. Hands up if you heard about YouTube. Okay, good. Right. Now, hands up if you heard about Dasam Dwar. Oh dear. We Sikhs got a problem on our hands. You know? The Sikhs, the Sikhs don't know about Dasam Dwar, but they know about YouTube. If they want to download information, they're downloading it from YouTube, not realizing that inside them, there's another door of perception. Now, we all got eyes, yeah? Okay. Now, everything is everywhere, right? But you only see it with your eyes. Agreed? Also, sound is everywhere. But we only hear it from our ears. Like we're hearing a kid now. We're only hearing it from our ears. If we put earplugs in, can't hear sound anymore. Right? Now, at the top of our head, there's a center. Call it a door of perception. And from that door of perception, we're going to see God. Now you can't say see God because it's not going to be the same thing as seeing. But we're going to experience God. Yeah? Just like we experience sound or we experience light hitting our eyes. In the same way, we're going to experience God. Right here. Put your hands up everybody. Especially those that didn't know. Put your... Come on, everybody join in. Sari sangat ne hat utte karke. Put it on top of your head. Now this, this is Maharaj Ji Kirpa. Every single human being here, if you're all humans, has been blessed with something called Dasam Dwar. Baji earlier was doing a talk about the antenna, yeah? Who heard that talk? Of the, the iPhone. Okay. So that's the hidden antenna. Right? Now, Maharaj is saying that that light of God has to be activated. Yeah? Just like your parents, when they give you the phone, they turn it on airplane mode. Why do they do that? Because you're bound to go and press some weird buttons and end up somewhere else. So they put you into airplane mode because they want to keep you in control. But in school, also, the government and the world wants to keep us in control. Can we kind of guess what control they might want to keep us in? What does, what's the best kind of person out there in the world for the government? If you were a government person, what kind of person would you want to create? What kind of person does the government want you to be? Hanji. Okay, pay your taxes, good. So pay who's to pay your taxes, but it's paying them, isn't it? So you're paying your money to them, right? So they want you to pay your money to them, yeah. right? Okay, taxes, good. So let's just call that, yeah? Money, okay? Pa taxes is money, yeah? All right, what else? What else should you, should you be doing as a good person? Go on. Do they want you to be fair? But most of the rich people aren't very fair, are they? <laughs> yeah, but does the government t teach you how to be fair? No. Alright, so they don't, they don't, okay. What are they teaching you to be though? What are they actually teaching you to be? Go on. Follow the laws. Okay, yeah. Okay, so follow their laws, yeah? Yeah, their... So they set the laws and then you give them the money. Yeah, your money goes to them and you follow their laws. What else? What if the laws are not good? What if they said um, black people are not the same as white people? Wasn't that one of their laws not too long ago? Well, but they said that women can't vote. 
Wasn't that their law like not too long ago? Yeah? Alright. What else do they want you to do? So their laws might be wrong, yeah? And the taxes might be wrong as well. Sometimes, like in, back in India, 500 years ago, or even now, they have something called the jizya. Jizya taxes for non-Muslims. If you're not a Muslim, you pay the non-Muslim tax. Jizya, yeah? That's a tax given by the government of the day that you have to pay because you're not a Muslim. Is that a, is that a good law? Is that a good tax? Okay. So now, who decides what is right and wrong then? At the moment, the government tells you what's right and wrong. They, said, they tell you their laws, yeah? So you follow their laws. Now their laws might be wrong. They were wrong, weren't they? And they still might be wrong. So who decides what's right and wrong? Yeah. Go on. Maharaj. Maharaj. This girl, Mahapurk, man. Yeah. She's going for it. Yeah. Sat. Yeah. Yeah. Guru. Sat Guru. What's Sat mean? How, how, how many of you can translate that word Sat Guru? What does it mean? Sat Guru. Hanji Panji at the back. Truth. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's closer to truth than it is to true. Yeah? Sat is the eternal law that is the re real truth. Like, you know, at the end of Barney, Mara says there's three things. If you're going to make Sikhi into a cake, yeah? Or a dish. Mara says there's three things that are there. You all know the words. I bet you, I bet you didn't even know you knew the words. Right? I'll sing the words and you just sing with me. Are you ready? Yeah? Talavich tin vastu payo sat santok vicharo Stop. Mara said there's three things in Sikhi. Sat, truth. What's santok? Contentment, yeah? Happiness with what you have is contentment. Contentment doesn't mean that you all got iPads and all got nice flashy cars and nice houses. What it means is, whatever you got, you're happy with it. Contentment. And then they say, vichar, thinking. Mara says, these three things are what is inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That's the look, that thing you read out, Mundavali Mahala Panja, is right at the very end of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Right at the very end, like a summary statement. In this Guru Granth Sahib Ji, there's three things, Sat, Santok and Vichar. And then Naam is holding them three things together. Naam, yeah, is keeping those three things together. Naam gives you truth, it's related to truth, because Sat, Naam. See? Then Naam gives you contentment. And then Naam gives you Vichar. Amrita Vela, Satchanao, Vadiai, Vichar. Vichar about the truth. Which are about Wahiguru, Naam. Now, we have to concentrate upon this word. Satguru means the person who teaches you the truth. At the moment, when we go to school, yeah, kids, a lot of the time, there's no class called the, the truth about life class. Yeah, you get maths, science, physics. Some of you guys don't even do that, you just do science in general. Then you've got English. Yeah, then you might have what sports sciences. What else you got? French? Anything else exciting out there? PE, yeah? Technology. Technology. Anybody got the truth about life class? <laughs> Nobody went to that class? Uh, RE? But RE teaches you loads of different truths. Some of those truths don't make any sense. Where is the truth about life class? The truth about life class. Here, look. You're in it. Gurdara. Truth about life is taught by somebody who knows the truth first, isn't it? You can only get told the truth by somebody who knows the truth. Who knows the truth? Sat Guru. Sat Purak Jin Janya, Sat Guru Tes Kanao. The one who knows the Sat Purak, the true being, the being that is pure eternal truth, that person can teach you the truth. Yeah? Now how many of our teachers are like Mahapuriks and blessed souls that are connected to God? How many of your teachers at school look like that? <laughs> Yeah, I watched the program the other day on, on BBC I Play Education or something. It was that crazy guy walking in. Anyway, it's not for you kids, but the point being, <laughs> that guy was no Satguru. <laughs> he was way off the chart, way off it. So what we've got at the moment, yeah, is you've got people that don't even know what the truth about life is, and they're teaching other people. 
That sounds like a crazy system. So we need somebody who knows the truth to teach it to us. That's a Satguru. And we've got the biggest Satguru there is. Satguru Nanak. Yeah? The ten gurus came to tell us this truth. The truth is, inside us is God. The truth is, at the top of our head, we can connect to that God. Now if you went outside, you can test me tomorrow. If you went outside, told all your mates in school, that at the top of our head, there's a place we can connect to God. And they're going to look like at you as if you're some alien. Yeah? They're going to think you're absolutely nuts. In fact, if you go and tell our parents, or even our family, they won't believe it. This is the point. At the moment, so few Sikhs, about 10% of the audience, put their hands up. Even know that there's this thing at the top of their head that allows them to connect to God. But Guru Amar Das Ji is telling us it every day. Every day an Ansar, but yeah, not a second. They are saying that, O oh, Sikhs, God put His light inside you. And then He gave you a Dasam Dwar. And if you come to Guru's door with love, He'll open up Dasam Dwar for you and you can connect to God. Every day a Sikh says these words. Harjiyo, Gupa Anda Rakke, Vaja Pavan Vajaya. Vajaya Vaja Pawn. This is a Vaja, the, the lungs, yeah? Vajaya Vaja Pawn. No dware pargat kiye daswa guptar khaya. You see what the problem is? The truth is given by our Guru. But in the world, it's totally hidden. It's totally hidden. So let's talk about the light of the Gurus, yeah? Because this light of our Gurus has come just to make us realize the Sat. Ma has come to make us understand the truth is that we are part of God. The truth is not that we are separate from God, but the truth is that we are part of God. How are we going to bring this truth to life now? That's the tr trick, isn't it? The trick isn't me telling you, Ki, oh, this is truth. The trick is, how are we going to make this truth come alive? How is it? How many kids are five years old? Five and above. Most of you. Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji was five years old. Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji was five years old. And they were the Guru. Every Sikh would come up and matha take to Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji. Yeah? Can you believe that? Nowadays, yeah, you know what we've done with Sikhi? We made it for old people. Yeah? Isn't it? Everybody thinks, you know what, I want to follow Sikhi but when I'm older. It doesn't make any sense. Chote Sahib, they were young, weren't they? They were all young. There's a problem at the moment. The problem is, especially you lot, are not being told that Sikhi is for you. A lot of our parents and our family members they tell it for us for later. They don't even teach us Gurmukhi when we're five years old. So we can't even sit down and read part if we wanted to in the first place. It's an old people's game. Yeah, so when you're older, when you finish university, there's a problem though. How many people, right, eat fast food their whole life if they're going to want to be fit people at the end of their life? If you want to be a fit person at 50 years old, is it recommended that you spend your whole life eating fast food, McDonald's every day? What would you, if I wanted to be fit at 50 years old and I was like your age now, what advice would my parents give me, do you think? Start eating veg, healthy food. Do you think they might tell me start doing some fitness as well? Yeah, yeah they would, wouldn't they? They say, don't get lazy when you're young. Do a bit of running around. Yeah? And then when you get to about 20 years old, it will be part of your routine to be fit. Then when you get to 30 years old, just be normal. And you'll stay fit when you're 50. Now, if Sikhi was like fitness, right? Then why are they telling us to not do part when we're five, six, seven, eight years old? Yeah, they say, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get to university, your mind, what did you say? You've already picked up bad habits. Yeah? You've already picked up addictions. And then they say, now be a better person. That's like giving someone fast food. I won't talk about drugs. It's like giving somebody McDonald's every day until they just love McDonald's or they're sick of it. Point being, they just have it every day and then they say to them, now you've got to have healthy food all the time. It's impossible to change. Not impossible, but it's very, very hard. Very, very hard. I can tell you myself that I've done it. Yeah? I was that flat. No, I wasn't actually fat, but I was like, figuratively, I was that guy who just ate gun the whole time. Never eating healthy food. And then they said, you've got to become healthy. And do you know what? It's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. That's why you can look around our families 
and our elders, and they seem to have given up hope in Sikhi. Yeah? They talk about it like it's some kind of airy fairy thing up in the world, that they're never going to be able to follow it. They go, oh no, you know, these, it can't be done. It's too hard. And they keep saying stuff like, Ek din kirpa hovegi, then we'll do it. They go, one day a Guru will bless me and I'll start following Sikhi. Listen, all of you lot are blessed right now. You're blessed twice. Let's count the first blessing. The first blessing is, we're born into a human body, a human life. Blessing number one. Very hard to get a human life. We're human. Out of 8.4 million lives, we won the lottery ticket of being a human. In the UK, you know Saturdays they have lottery. Have you heard of the lottery? Yeah. It's 8 million to 1 chance of winning the lottery. Guru Sahib says, 8.4 million chance to 1 of winning the human life. It's even harder to be human than win the lottery. So you've already won the lottery. Well done. You won the lottery. You're human. Now, second lottery. Let's count the second blessing. Of all the religions in the world, of all the possible ways in the world, you were born into Guru Nanak Dev Ji's house. Mara says, Eh manas janam dulamba hai. Naam bina birtha sab jai. This human body, this human life is very hard to find. You know, labna, labna. If you want to find something, we say, oh, labo anu. Dulab means very hard to find. Hard to find a human life. Very lucky to find it. Okay? You all had access to Guru Nanak Dev Ji from day one. Why is it important to have access to Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Hanji. No. More than that. Go on. Keep trying. It's a good game. I don't have to work so hard. I can just keep saying yes, no. The reason it's very important to get to know Guru Nanak Dev Ji is because he was a light of God. Guru Nanak Dev Ji was God's light came down. Yeah? You know when you have a battle, sometimes in a battle, right, you send in your pawns. You know when you're playing chess, you send the pawns in first. Yeah, the people that are not so important, you send your soldiers in first. Yeah? Then when the soldiers get killed, you might send in the... Um, the bigger warriors, the better warriors, right? Then they go out. When they don't work, then the king steps into the battle himself. Who's the king? Akal Puruk Wahiguru. And now, he's come into the world himself. He said, enough is enough. No one knows about Naam. Everybody's lost. He came himself, himself with Naam. Sat Naam. The truth which is Naam. He's come himself. You've been lucky enough to be born into that house which is destined to change this world. That's the greatest gift on this planet. Guru Dev Ji has not come on this world just to come as one more Guru. No. He's come to change the whole world. And you guys, all of us, me included, have been blessed to be born into that house where we can see Guru Dev Ji from day one. That he's our Guru. Guru Nanak Dev Ji was not just anybody else. He was the light of God. We know, you know, have you heard the Shabbat that they do? In, when they open Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they do a Shabbat. You might have heard it. I'll translate it for you. It goes like this, yeah? Ho ve sifat ka samadhi Noor arso kurso chatti hai Tur dithe sache paat shah Mal janam janam di kati hai Now, you know what that means? Ho ve sifat ka samadhi let the husband Lord God be praised. Why? Noor arso kurso chattiye. Noor means light. Noor arso kurso chattiye. Arso means from above. Kurso means here. The light of God has come down from up there, has come down here. Where? Where has it come? Him. Guru Nanak Dev Ji has come as a light of God. Hove sifat khasamadi. Noor arso kurso chatti hai. The light of God has come down and then Tur dithe sache pasha. Oh my true king. Oh true God. Oh Guru Nanak Dev Ji Akal Roop Wahiguru. You are Wahiguru. When I see you, the pains of all my previous lives are wiped out. That's the vision of our Guru. It's so powerful. Kids, look at me. The vision of our Guru is so powerful. All our previous lives, all the pap, everything can get wiped out just by seeing Guru Nanak. So aren't we so lucky to see him in the Gurdara, in Guru Granth Sahib Ji all the time? 
You see this light of God, it came down. Allahi Nur. Ilahi Nur. That light of God. And that light traveled through ten different lives. Now we might say, well, Gunan Devji was born once. But he wasn't. He's the only person in history to be born ten times. Isn't it? Ten times he came back. Exact same truth. Exact same message. Everybody was doing Japji Sahib. Everybody was doing Sukhmani Sahib. The whole truth. It's never happened in the past. Like I said to you, it's never happened in the past. The king himself has come down. God himself has come as Guru Nanak. And isn't it so amazing, miraculous Sikhi, that we had 10 gurus that never argued amongst each other. You look at all these current gurus and people, they, ne- they don't ever agree with each other. One dies, they have an argument. Our gurus, they did something amazing. They came to change the world. And they did change the world. You imagine what it was like before Guru Nanak. Just imagine, before Guru Nanak, everybody was fighting, no one liked each other, Mughals were around, there was caste system. Now imagine 200 years later, after Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj had been in the earth for 200 years. They lived for 200 years. The same light traveled from Guru to Guru to Guru. Yeah? Same light. Then finally, 200 years later, the Mughals were being destroyed, People were feeling proud. People had their um, guests. They weren't scared of the Mughal kingdom. Men and women were equal. People were having langar. They changed the world, didn't they? In Punjab, in India. They changed it. It's never happened before. India's been around for 5,000 years. More than that. Veda has been around for so many years. 10,000 years. And suddenly, in the space of 200 years, all of India has changed. The blessing of Gunant Ji. And then, why? Why is Guru so important? Because Guru brought Naam. There's a line for Bani I want you all to sing. We can't, I don't know if I can sing it, I haven't got a tune for it. But let's just read it out. Nanak ke kar, keval naam. Nanak ke kar, keval naam. Okay. In Nanak Dev Ji's house, in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's house, there is only Naam. This is the house of Naam. Yeah? Some people have houses made of different things, bricks, stones. Where is our Guru's house? Is it really that Gurdwara or this Gurdwara? Is that our Guru's house? When Guru Gobind Singh Ji sacrificed his four children like you guys are now, children, yeah? Do any sacrifice them, them four children? And they said to him, Oh Guru Gobi Singh Ji, you lost four of your children. How do you feel about that? What did Guru Gobi Singh Ji say? They said, If four have died, so what? Thousands more are living. Thousands more of my children, Mara said, are still living. Did they say, Doesn't matter, I've got thousands of Gurdwari? No. Why? Because Guruji doesn't care about the Gurdwara, he cares about Sikhs. He cares about you guys. He wants us to be Sikhs. So Nanak ke kar, this is the kar of Guru Nanak. The house of Nanak is here. Every single Sikh is his house. So if every single Sikh had Naam in their house, it'd be Chardikala, isn't it? Nanak Naam, Chardikala. When we have Naam, we'll be in Chardikala. Now, if there was 10 Gurus in the lights, where's the light now? Hanji. Okay, good. And what's the second part? I'm going to tell you a very important story. How many of you say, I'm a Sikh? Put your hands up if you say, I'm a Sikh. Okay. At one point, another Sikh, like you guys, asked Guru Gobind Singh Ji himself. They said, Guru Ji, what are you? Isn't that a cool question? Because look how amazing they were. You might be wondering yourself, what are you? Are you just a person? Are you God? What are you? Guru Sahib said, listen Nandal, very carefully. His name was Nandal, that guy. He said, I've got three forms. This is going to summarize this lesson that we talked about. Maharaj has got three forms. Can you guess what these three forms are? Anybody want to have a go? I don't mind if you get it wrong, doesn't matter. Just have a guess. Three forms. Human, 
Okay, a physical form, yeah? Physical. So let's put that here. Physical. Okay. Hanji. No, not right. Sp spiritual. Okay, good. Spirit. <laughs> now, one more left. I'll give you a clue. When you matter take to it, what is it? Hanji. No. Hanji. Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Shabad. Shabad. The Guru's words. Mara said to Bhai Nanlal Ji, I got three forms. If you say I, I believe in Guru Ji, Guru Ji's got three forms. Okay. I'll tell you what Guru Sahib said. Mara said, I got three forms. One is the Nirgun form. Nirgun means it's spiritual. You can't see it, you can't touch it. They said that form is inside every single person. It's a big hint there. Who is inside everybody? Vaheguru. Mara said, one of my forms is inside every single person. So who are they? One of their forms is Vaheguru. Guru Sahib is saying, isn't it? One of my forms is inside every single person. That's the light of God, isn't it? Sab meh jo, jo ta hai? Soe. It's Vaheguru. This day chanan, sab meh chanan hoi. God's light is inside everybody. Now, what's the second form? Physical. They didn't say, they did not say that their physical form is the Guru himself. Mara said, my physical form is the Sikh. Look, Guru Sahib is not saying here that I am the physical form of Guru. Mara said the Sikh is the physical form of Guru. What kind of a Sikh is the physical form of the Guru? Mara says the one who lives my way. The one who lives my way is my physical form. And now what do we say those words? Khalsa mero rupa hai khas. Khalsa mein ho karo nivas. Guru Sahib says Khalsa is my form. My special form, Khalsa, I live in the Khalsa. I live, Nivas means to live. I live in the Khalsa. Look, Khalsa. The Khalsa is the Guru. So the Guru is Guru Khalsa Panth. Guru Khalsa Panth is a Guru. You got Grant and you got Pant. And we know this one, Shabad. Shabad is Guru. That means Guru Granth Sahib is our Guru. So kids, don't ever forget this part. Guru Sahib is in the Khalsa and he's in the Granth. And he's inside us as light of God. So he's, he's not easy to understand Guru, is it? It's not just that text in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. It's not just up there. It's right here in this room right now. We've got two of those forms here right now. We've got Amritari people, we've got Sikhs who are following Sikhi. And we've got every single person has got the light of God inside them. So Guru is here, right now. Guru Sahib hasn't gone anywhere. See, whatever they were, is still here, isn't it? Guru Shabbat is here, the light of God is here, and the Sikhs are here. So they can come as a physical person. They've got that power. They can come back. So they haven't actually gone anywhere. See what I mean? So they can just come back. They're just like um, on that other side of this wall. Yeah? We just can't see them, but they're here. Many people have met Darshan of Guru Gobind Singh all the time. Guru Sahib hasn't gone anywhere, because he's still here. Whatever he said, whatever Mara said they were, is still around now and never died. So people say, oh, Guruji passed away, or they died. How did they die? What they were, is here right now. That's what they are. They're here, right now. People get dashed of them all the time. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Nanak Ji, haven't gone anywhere. Okay? Very important you understand this. They are the light of God. They've come to give us one big message. One big message. Let's look at this. Look. Shabad, yeah? Part. How do we experience Shabad? We can read part. What else can we do? Kirtan. Yeah? What else? Seva or Simran. Yeah? 
Now, watch this. It's really cool, yeah? What if you do an arrow from here? That means you start from part in Simran. You end up living as Guru Sahib Sikh and become part of his own body as a Khalsa. And then that takes you towards Waheguru. The light of God came down to give us this path. To give us this path. That every single one of us has to do this. Start off with Waheguru Simran, reading Bani, doing part. Fall in love with Guru. Want to give yourself to your Guru. Now what happens is, right, we get told this a lot of the times. Just be a good person. Do you get told that sometimes? People say, I don't know, don't know how to follow Sikhi. Just be a good person. I think that's enough. <laughs> is it enough to be a good person? Why did Gunadiji come here then? And they could have just said, be a good person. There's loads of messages like that out there already. Why do they have to come down? To show us about Naam. Nanak ke kar keval Naam. Naam is a message. What does Naam mean? Connecting to God from here. Connecting to God from here. That's Naam. Until this is activated, we're not actually <coughs> living in Naam. We're living in Maya. Hommi. Basically, we're separated from God. We came from God. And then we forgot all about God. What if, you know, have you heard about those people that get kidnapped, children get kidnapped? Now just imagine for one second, close your eyes for a second. Give you a real, a real example. Let's imagine a child got kidnapped. Now if you're a child, you can pretend that might be you. Or might be somebody that you know. If you're an adult, think of it as your child. A child got kidnapped when they were very young. Maybe about three, four years old. Then the kidnapper took him away and never let them see their parents. They brought them up as their own child. And then, that little child taught them a new language, a new world, everything, totally different. And then that child totally forgot that they ever had those previous parents. Totally forgot those parents. Now, you imagine those parents, if they met that child again, and that child doesn't remember them. Yadini, so I don't know you, you're not my parents. It's a bit like that nowadays. We're from his house, but the world, the world is that kidnapper. The world kidnaps us from the house of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and it convinces us, it's not for you. Do it later. But it's for us. We're the children of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. The truth is that all the world is telling us, that we talked about earlier, the taxes, the government, all these people are designed to not teach you the truth. For that truth, we need a Satta Guru, a true teacher of the truth, who teaches us that this is the way back home. Mara says in Bani, Bhule Marag Jine Bataya Aisa Gur Vad Paagi Paaya Bhule Marag The lost way. Marag means road. Bhula means lost. The lost way, Jine Bataya. Who told me that, Bhule Marag, the lost way? Asa Gur. That Guru, Sat Guru. Lucky people find that Sat Guru. Remember the second blessing was Guru Nanak Dev Ji. All of us, we won the second lottery ticket. And we found that light of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And we were blessed to be, become, be born into this world as human beings and as human beings in the house of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Because He is the light of God. The light of God has come down to teach us how to light that light inside us and how to go back to Vaiguru. It's like a virtuous circle. God sends Guru. Guru teaches us how to get enlightened and we go back to God. We can't get there directly. Okay? If this is Vaiguru, you need a Guru from here. This is where me, we are. From here, you can't go that way. You can't go that way. You have to go through the Guru. You have to go through a Guru. Because the way to God is to lose your ego. 
You can only do that if you give yourself to a guru. You can't say, I want to get to God myself. When you say, I and myself, that's two bits of homi. If you say, my guru will take me to God, then, then you're blessing, you're relying upon Gunandevji. Let's give you a clue, yeah? Has anybody seen somebody climbing the mountain? Have you heard about mountain climbing? I'll give you a clue, right? Little analogy. You want to climb a really big mountain, right? You've got two options. You've got two options. You can take a rope from the bottom, right? You can climb up, and you, every time you go up, you clip it on. Tikana, you clip it on, and then it holds your weight in case you fall. As you keep going up, every time you go a bit further, you clip it on. What happens if you run out of rope? Stuck. You have to come back. You haven't got enough rope. But God's a very, very high, isn't it? If you want to climb this mountain to God, it's a very high state to go to. <coughs> now, what if you had another option? There's a rope coming from up there. The rope is coming from there, isn't it? If the rope comes from there, it's going to go back there, isn't it? It's not going to run out. It's come from there. You get me? The ropes come from there. The rope you have, you don't know. It might not reach it. It's a risky thing. If you have two choices, there's a rope hanging there from above and you've got this rope here in your hand. What's risky? Is a rope in your hand a bit more risky than the rope that's coming down from there? So now we've already got a guru who's come from there, isn't it? We've already got Guru Nanak Dev Ji who was sent by God. Satguru Nanak Pargatea. The light has come. He's been sent for a reason. Suni Pukar Data Prabhu Guru Nanak Jagmahi Pataya. God heard the cries of people and sent Guru Nanak. Came himself as Guru Nanak. It's risky to rely upon that rope on the ground. That could be very dangerous. However, grabbing that rope from above is a sensible option. Guruji has been sent by God. So you grab that rope, you're guaranteed to get there. All you got to do is keep climbing. All you got to do is keep climbing. Follow his way. So, effectively, the whole of Sikhi is about this. God, Waheguru, sent Guru to give us the truth. If we follow that truth, we're going to get there. Faster than if we try to do it ourselves. Yeah? And the real big thing is, this is a path of enlightenment. If you guys aren't trying to say Waheguru, you're wasting your seek chance. It's like, let me see, lottery tickets. What if you won the lottery, but you didn't go and cash it in to Camelot? You wouldn't get any money, would you? Would you? If you won 8 million and you didn't tell anybody about it, you didn't phone up the people with lottery ticket and said, I won, it's my numbers. You wouldn't get any money, would you? Right, same thing. You've been born as a Sikh, as a human being, You've been born into the house of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the second blessing. If we don't cash in Nanak Naam, we will never get Chardikala. We will never get up to God. Waste a human life. Alright, I'm going to finish off there. The whole point of Sikhi is to us to get enlightened. Yeah? Maharaj Di Kirpanal, Gur Prasad. Yeah? Should we do the Mur Mantra just once? Yeah? Ek O Ankar Sat Naam Karta Purkh Nir Po Nir Vair Akal Murat Ajuni Saipam Gur Prasad Jap Aade Sach Jugade Sach Happy Sach Nanak Hosi Pi Sach Gunan Dev Ji is the truth he will always remain the truth. And there's two things there that are very important. Gur Prasad and Jap. Gur Prasad means by the Guru's grace. Maharaj Kirpanan. And then Maharaj says the first hukam of a Sikh. Jap. If you're a Sikh, yeah? If you're a Sikh, when you put your hands up earlier, I said, are you a Sikh? Everybody already put their hands up, right? If you're a Sikh, you have to Jap Nam. You have to say Waheguru. You have to. It doesn't matter if you're Amritari or not, you have to jump now. So we're going to finish off with five Vahigurus, yeah? And this time, I want you all to try to imagine that Gunan Dev Ji is there. Yeah? He's a true parent. We got kidnapped from him. 
the world confused us and got us lost into thinking that we weren't supposed to become part of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's largely, largely forge. But we are. That's our mission. So we say Wahiguru together and try to think Guru as well. Yeah? Wahiguru 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 Close our eyes and look up and realize that at the top of our head there's that center. And if we say Waheguru with love, if we come to our Guru with love, they will open it for us. Waheguru, 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 Waheguru. Vaheguru 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 So is Guru Nanak Dev Ji a teacher? No What is he? The light of God Is he a teacher? You don't want to take your teachers do you at school? No You'd laugh about it if you had to mother take to them. But you'd better take to your guru. So they're not just a teacher, they're the light of God. Just remember that. They came from God as the light of God and they spoke the words out of God's mouth. Bani is revelation. They didn't just say Bani, God made them say it. And they've come with power. Power to bless us with Naam. They're not just a teacher. You don't ask your teachers, Oh, teacher, give me maths. <laughs> Do you? Anybody better take to the teacher and say, Oh, pretty please, teacher, give me English. <laughs> no. But we do matter take to our guru and we say, Oh, guru, give me naam. Because guru has naam in his hand and he can give it to us. Okay? So he's more than a teacher. He's a light of God. So if I said anything that offended anybody, I apologize. I try to make it a bit humorous, but maybe it might not suit people's hearts, so I apologize for that. I'm bound to make mistakes in Barney. Um, my only bandy to you guys is, if you want us, if you want us to, be, uh, to carry on doing this, then please watch the videos. Because the more hits we get, the more we think, yes, it's worthwhile doing this. If like every video got like two hits, I'd just go back to my normal job, innit? You know, what's the point? So please watch the videos. As your kids growing up, parents as well, Go on YouTube and just watch a video. Watch it over breakfast, watch it with your kids, whatever you want. But point is, let's arm ourselves with knowledge. It's a hard world out there, yeah? We've got to arm ourselves with knowledge. Get that gyan kharag, okay? Because you guys probably here in Luton, do you get questioned about your faith? Bedford. <laughs> you guys here in Bedford, <laughs> do, you get, do you get questioned about your faith at school? Do people ask you questions, yeah? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? And do sometimes people say, I heard this about you Sikhs and it's something totally crazy. I had a Muslim guy come up to me. He said to me, is it true what I heard about you Sikhs? That you're only going to take your kirpans off once you've killed every single Muslim. <laughs> I was like, huh? People have got some... Somebody said, I heard your guru was a Muslim because he went to Mecca. People come up with some crazy ideas out there. Yeah? So what we've got to do, We've got to arm ourselves with knowledge. What we've got to do? Arm ourselves with knowledge. Because it's a hard world out there. So it's very easy. Go on YouTube. Okay? And also, we're going to tell the rest of the world about Gunan Deji Maharaj. Yeah? So we're going, and going on the streets and talking to people about Sikhi. Okay? We're using this leaflet to talk to people about Sikhi. If you get questioned about Sikhi, keep some of these in your pocket. Someone says, what are you Sikhs about? There you go. Talk them through the leaflet. Okay? Some of you guys might be a bit young for it, but definitely the adults should go out there and try. Okay? So, Marazi Kirpa, the bant will keep on getting uh, grow. Just a final word. We are a prachar oriented charity. We don't try to build Gurdwara. Every Gurdwara committee gets up and says, Hanji Sadekul, building fund, please, building fund. 
A lot of people think that Guruji wanted to make buildings. That's what they think. Maharaj didn't want to make buildings. Maharaj wanted to make Sikhs. Sikhs. Yeah? So we don't have building funds. We're just going out there to teach Sikhi to everybody as much as we can. Yeah? So if you want to support us, there's a box at the front, you can, right? I promise you, not one penny will go towards a brick. <laughs> yeah? It'll all go on educating people. Okay? No money on bricks, all money on parchar, sikhi. Panth vase, me ujra, manchao kanera. Mara said, let the panth be flourishing. Doesn't matter if they get destroyed. Yeah? So, ehi kirpa hai If you want to help us, please do so. Puran chukha dikhe, Bhakshin ji. Gaj gaj ke bulana ji. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru ji ki pate. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.